Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stalker Call of Pripyat Part 38. We've just been sent on a small recon mission to locate these guys who turned out to be dead. Um, killed by the fanatics as Colonel Kowalski described it. And, uh, the fanatics are of course the monolith. And uh, according to some information we located, um, they're supposed to be holed up down at the bookstore and he's Kowalski that has been kind enough to send us a couple of guys but I signed up as soon as I found appears out to be I'll follow you to the bitter end. Sokolov and Vano you know, I thought I'd be safer with you okay just Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, he survived. Thank God. Hopefully there won't be any more mutants because that's going to be unfortunate when we're trying to fight these dudes right here. Easy guys, come on. Again, you can hear this chanting in the background. Okay, I actually took a good beating there. Die, you son of a bitch. Just do a quick save here and... Hmm... wish they wouldn't just sprint ahead of me kind of like down in the tunnels the Pribyat underpass right okay so I think I understand now. Jesus! <laughs> okay, that was not pretty. I'll be honest. Okay, so something interesting going on here. We hear this chanting, and well, these to kind of understand this. Um, well, I guess you need to have played uh, Shadow of Chernobyl because in that game, Strayluck man manages to kind of deactivate, I guess you could say, this sea consciousness entity that's controlling these monolith guys and you could hear them chanting saying that the monolith had, I guess the sea consciousness, had left them and I guess that's why Strider and his squad was suddenly released from the this control as well because Strelok deactivated it. 
So now you have these guys who are kind of like confused and not sure exactly why they want to get back under the control of the sea consciousness, but I guess if that's all they know, yeah, well, beats me. It looks like they've kind of constructed kind of like this symbol. Um, mm, or this um, statue supposed to re resemble the monolith. And there is a monolith object, actually, um, that was inside the sarcophagus at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. And I think this is supposed to resemble that. And was basically a lure set up by the sea consciousness to lure in stalkers and kill them if they approached and apparently these guys have that as their kind of like symbol of the entire faction and what they're all about so or something like that kind of hard to explain but so um okay examine device Kowalski Something strange is going on here. There were loads of monolith fighters inside the building. They were all in a trance and talking to... a pile of trash. I examined this pile, and if you cut through the crap, it resembles a primitive antenna. It seems that someone talks to them through this antenna, and they believe it to be divine intervention. This is all very strange. <laughs> Someone's controlling these fanatics. Hmm. We'll get back to this later. Hmm, okay, so... Actually a kind of antenna. I guess. Um, helping the sea consciousness reach out to these monolith fighters. Except that they seem to be in a trance, and I think they're not under the control of the sea consciousness anymore, because it was deactivated, but... Hmm. Never mind, they're still apparently fanatics and willing to kill us on sight, so... Oh, he had a sleeping bag. Never bought one of those, so... Um... Yeah, bring some food, stuff, whatever. Yep, yep, yep. So, I think it's time for us to head back. I'm glad to see that both Vano and Sokolov made it out in one piece each. Uh, hmm. I think there's stash around here somewhere. Right there, in fact. Not a bad stash, but not like a neat needed another SIG and some ammo and grenades, but what the hey, I'll take it. So, we avenged our boys. Do what you need and let's go back. I don't feel like hanging around here. Couldn't agree with you more. There's that strange thing over there. What do you reckon they need it for? Oh, never mind. Come on, buddy. Do your stuff and let's get back to base. So I think we're done here. Um, And another stash right out here in this old bumper car, I think it is. So let's um, follow our boys back. Make sure the return still in their each separate piece. Uh, hmm, back there, okay. Might want to reload this.
Actually, I believe... Oh, jeez. There's a stash right in here. Yep. But now I'm overburdened. Great. I think I'll just quickly grab one of these and then catch up with my guys. If I can. I have one on my radar now, I think. Yeah, there they are. Here we are, I think. The laundromat. Where are you going? Hope he has... Ah, just another way in, I guess. Cool. Okay, so I think we, we made it back safely. That's, um, that's nice. So, are we supposed to... Um... Oh, we forgot to return to Herman for getting him some new gods. But, um... Hmm. So, let's stash some of these items. And I think... Let's head in here first and repair our gear for free. Nice. Alright. I think I'm gonna leave the Ventores behind now. Take this, unload this, and this. Stash them. I think it's time we find a technician who's capable of figuring out what this is all about. And I'm going back to my SIVA suit because of the containers. Um, actually, actually, what I think I'll do just before we head back. I think we're good. What I think I'll do right now is actually try to locate... ...some tools. For Carden and Nitro, I guess. Let's see. I believe there are some tools right here, and... Uh, right here, at the department store, so... I think we'll head in that direction. Grab a bite, and... Head outside. here. Hmm. It's not... Oh! Might be wrong. Actually, whoop. I 
think I was right about the department store having some tools inside. Loads of dogs here. Oh jeez. Back off. Har har. in there. I think the rodents are trying to tell me the way. Down here, dude. There we have it. Ow. Urgh. While we're here, well, we got the tools for calibra or calibration tools, they're just called. And some stuff going on down here. I think it's time to bring out the detector. There appears to be a comet anomaly floating about up here. and It's kind of neat. See if I can find a way around these anomalies without hurting myself too much. Because there's an artifact. Might be hard to see, but there's a green dot floating about on my detector, so... Woo. Should be able to see right there. And it's another bubble. That's pretty neat. Not sure I need three, but... Okay, so... Oh, gee. Ow. <laughs> Thought I would be safe, but nope. Hmm. Well, okay. So, where are we at? Okay, we came up here, so... Next up, I think it's the... Jubilee Service Center. Probably not pronounced that right, but... Okay, so... This way... Um, some stuff going on over there. Okay, I see things on my PDA. Hmm. Oh, they're gone. Hmm. Might have been zombies. Mm, that's not the place. I think that's the place. I think that's where we're headed. Let's go around this way and... There's a school. Looks like there's... wow. Lots of guys around here. I think that's where we're headed. And, um, hmm.
<laughs> cool. Pseudo dog just flew out from out there. Cool. Oh, there's well, plenty of anomalies, that's for sure, but fortunately I actually brought a flash. I thought I ditched most of my artifacts, but brought that, so that's cool. There's an artifact here, so Jesus, these are quite close together. Hmm. I think... Well, let's put it to the test. Oh, and it's... an artifact I haven't found before. Ow. Ow. Just managed to get out of it and use a medkit. If I'd got sapped a third time, I'd be dead for sure. So... Well, as you saw, I threw a bolt into the anomaly and ran through it, and I could without actually getting sapped. Oh! Jesus! Ow! So, I think we have found the stairs up. And if I'm not mistaken... Oh, don't think I'll break that, but there's a stash right around here with a lot of grenades. Head up here. I think all those anomalies are downstairs, so that's nice, I guess. Hmm. I believe in here we'll find two things. One is a Bura. Jesus. Fortunately there's not... S oh, Jesus. Cool. I was about to say there's not a lot of stuff out here he could actually throw at me, but seems like there's plenty of stuff in here, so I'm glad I didn't just rush in. Hmm. Nothing in these boxes, but there's a room back here with some goodies over here, I believe. Not a stash, apparently. A hammer. And another set of tools. Some more stuff down here. I want to overburden myself. Machine gun ammo and a Makarov. That's gonna be useful for sure. Oh, some batteries. So I think we got the items here, so let's make our way back to the laundromat. And okay, might be able to get out this way. Yeah, I think that's. I believe that door was locked when we came in through here first, but that's a quick, quick way out. I'm kind of glad it was there. So. Definitely some funky stuff going on on the over there, but we'll check that out later. I'm 
still running around with this unidentified weapon, and it actually weighs a lot, I think. Oh, six kilograms, but I want to get rid of it. I can't stash it. Um. Oh. I th Jesus. Thanks, Zulu. You thought I'd be easy, huh? I might fare better with a shotgun. More of them, even. Take that. Oh, Jesus. You thought I'd be easy, huh? Jesus. Okay, screw this. Oh, Jesus. That's not the... Are we done? What do you call a large number of snorks? A school of snorks. Hardy har har. Well, yep, sure that was. was. Fun. That showed them. Thanks for helping me out. If it weren't for you, those bas bas bastards would have go gobbled me up before long. You know, you're a good stalker after all. Sorry I got in a huff back there, but you could have told me that you're USS earlier. No problem. We better make for the military camp. Oh, and it get fast travel, so that's cool. So, not exactly the best of aiming and or shooting back there, but I got the job done, so... Oh. Wait, take this. It's the most reliable MG in the zone. Okay, so I got his machine gun. Wait, you don't need it anymore. It's always... I'll always have something to fight off a couple of mutants with, plus I've decided to go back. Carol will be taking me to U Jupiter, so you'll... So you'll... You'll... Excuse me, you'll need it more. Take it and use it well. Thanks, it's a great weapon. It's the best in the zone. So, we got his machine gun. Hmm. Might just take this out for a spin sometime. Um but right now I want to get back and deliver some tools and get someone to have a look at this weapon. Just going to stash these and oh, the artifact we found is a shell improved energy recovery. That's neat, I guess. Um hmm Okay, so stash all of this and um, 
I think that's going to be it for this episode. Part 38, I believe it is. Um, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all again very soon.